Hi, I'm Raleigh Coleman. Whether you need a website for your business or personal reason, it can get expensive when you look to hire someone to design it for you. That's why today, I'm going to show you how to build your own web page using tools that you can find for free on the internet. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is to navigate to Google and do a search for free serif, F-R-E-E-S-E-R-I-F. And what will come up is on the very top is free serif and select web plus download or web plus 10 um, when you get to it it gives you two options you can either buy the the uh, twenty dollar version I think it's actually only ten dollars or you can buy the other one select download for the web plus 10 and when the screen pops up select download file up at the top and it'll a window will pop up just select run or save whichever you want to do to download the file and that should do it for explorer now you're gonna pretty much do the exact same thing if you use firefox just download the file and get it installed okay what i'm going to show you is just a quick tutorial on how to build a website using web plus web plus offers three different different applications that you can get for web designing they have a free version web plus 10 which is pretty decent is if you just need a quick website it only allows you five pages and it restricts some of the other options they have web plus se which gives you quite a bit and then there's web plus x2 but for the most part what we're going to be doing is is all pretty basic and you can use any one of them to do what we're going to do so real quick start on underneath create start new site now I'm not going to go too much into the details as to why, I'm just going to show you how to do it. But for now we're going to start up here, I'm sorry, come down here to where it says home in the bottom left corner and go up to master A. This is your master template for every page in your site. And you're going to come down to file and then site properties and go to options and select the page width of 1275. That makes sure that your, your page will cover up the whole browser instead of leaving white squares on the sides change it to 1400 on your height just to give you a little bit more room and select OK and any other pages that you install will follow that template um, next thing you're going to want to do is edit this page itself you'll come to edit and page properties your master page change it again to 1275 and 1400 and select OK actually don't select OK because for me I'm going to select the background color of black so if you go to background you deselect use scheme manager and select black select OK now we have our right size in the black background if you come down to home page this will be basically the home page that everybody sees back at master what we're going to do is we're going to design basically a template that every site, uh, page in the site will use first thing I'm going to do is create a, a banner for the top using the quick shape tool I'm going to draw a rectangle and using the little node tool on the side we're going to round out the corners a little bit just to kind of soften it up and I'm going to insert a picture here so I'm going to go to insert picture from file and I'm going to select this picture right here and I'm going to put it right in here and what I'm going to do I'm going to zoom in just a little bit is I'm going to use this color scheme right here to color in my banner itself and in order to do that I'm going to select this, the banner and under here under co color grab the eyedropper tool and I'm going to select this turquoise down here and it automatically fills it in now I want to add a cool little gradient to make it just a little bit more eye, eye appealing eye catching actually before I do that select line and this will give you kind of a border it's already got one but we're going to change the color of it this button right here this is your fill button which will change the color of your fill this one will change the color of your line I want to change mine to white select the line tab and I'm going to increase the size and then I'm going to select this uh, check this box that says behind and put it behind there next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push the button control and then C and then control and V and just copy and paste a whole new little box you can also do that by using your right mouse click you can select copy and then right right mouse click and select paste um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna select the line I'm gonna get rid of the line and then I'm gonna change the color the fill color to black 
I'm going to select the transparency tool. The middle button here is the gradient, and I'm going to change the gradient to look a little bit like that. Now, if you notice that my picture, I just placed that gradient right over top of my picture. I'm going to select my picture and come up here to these buttons. These buttons allow you to adjust where your image is or your object is as far as layer levels. So I'm going to select forward one and now my image is right up here with me. So I'm going to add a title. I'm going to click the artistic text tool and select right in here. I'm going to change my font type to Adventurer Black. Um, I'm going to put the size up to around 36 just so we'll be able to see it. And I'm going to type in Rock Website. Okay. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And to make it a little bit more easy to see and to pop out at you, I'm going to do the same thing with the line. I'm going to select a line. All right. And right now, the line's default color is black. So select color. And it's what we're going to do is select the line and whoops there we go and if you go back over here to line you can adjust the size of the line I want to get kind of a nice meaty line round out my corners a little bit and I'm going to select behind again so that way it's nice and smooth um, now we're going to create a button to create the buttons I like to just remove these little objects here from this guy I want it to just basically I want it to be this right here so I'm going to use this button here to group the two objects together. So now the gradient and the other one are just one, one tool. I'm going to hit Control C and then Control V and now I have another one. Okay. I'm put my objects back where they go, my photo and my title. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to scale it down to be about the size of the button I want and I'm going to put a small little HTML text frame right inside there. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the whole deal and we're going to group it together and then we're going to copy it and control V to paste it and we're going to do it three times so that we have four buttons all with the same little text box in it. They're all identical. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look and right about here, if you if you look over to this side of the page when I put my arrow 